Olsney Lock. Welcome to another episode of Olsney Lock's Workshop. Just noticing something on this drill. The shank's got a kink in it. So I'm going to get out the piece of railroad iron and a hammer and I'm going to take that kink out. See a pretty good amount of daylight underneath that shank right about there between the, the shank and the blade. That's a pretty good hump. So I'm going to take my ball peen hammer and what I want to do is I want to raise it. I want to set it on there and, and turn it until I can see that hump up on top. And I got daylight underneath it. And I'm going to tap it. Now something else, if you listen as I'm tapping on it, when it's up in the air, it's a dead sound. When it goes down and hits the steel, it sounds solid again. So once you've hit the steel, there's no point hitting it any, anymore. You've got it as straight as you're going to get it. And hitting it hard doesn't help anything. What I'm doing is I'm just looking along the surface, checking for high spots. That's got it pretty straight. I got a little kink right here at the end. What I'm looking for I hold the straight edge up against it and I see daylight on this side between the tip between the tip and the square I see daylight and I turn it 180 degrees and the daylight's gone that tells me that this is kinked this way Now I can see that I'm touching on all four sides, so I've got the tank squared on it. Extensions are awful easy to bend. You have a lot of leverage on it, you've got it up into the wall, you're running a, a brace against it, it gets stuck on something and you're trying to crank really hard, you can twist this shank right off the thing. If you have any suggestions for a new video or questions about this video or any of the others on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all.
Thanks for watching.